Hi, it's Cathy, and today I show you how you can make this light burst effect. It's absolutely awesome. Here is um, that we want to create. So I hope you enjoy, and please subscribe. So let's get started. So first, go and open a new document. I use um, 800 by 600 and it's okay. Then choose your text tool and choose the, the font impact and center it to the middle. Go and duplicate the layer so right click with the mouse and duplicate okay. Then go to filter, blur, Groucher blur, rasterize yes and radius to 4 pixel. Okay, then go to edit and fill. One, leave white and multiply 100 opacity. And okay, hide the first text layer. So you see, uh, we get this blur effect. Next step is go to filter, stylize. Celeration, then hit Ctrl L for the levels, then go to the right and go to the middle, like here. So, if you want a uh, very uh, a lot of glow, go to the left and not so to the right. So, I use this here. I think that's okay. Click OK. Now, duplicate the layer, go to duplicate. Okay, and click on the eye so invisible. Now go to filter, distort, and pull polar coordinates, and set it to polar to rectangle. Go to image, rotation, clockwise, 90 degrees. So you get this effect. Hit Control I to invert it. You get this. Then go to filter, stylize, and wind. And go to method wind and to the right. So you get a nice effect. Hit one time and two times more. So you have to only to use Control F one two Control E to invert it back and three times more for Control F for three times more the wind effect one two. Three, then Control L for the levels and click on Auto. Okay, image, rotation, counterclockwise, 90 degrees, so it goes back. Then go to Filter, Distort, Polar coordinates, and go to Rectangle to Polar, so it goes back. Hit OK. Turn on your other layers. And the first layer you make to negative multiply. And if you change your second layer, you can change it to multiply. You get this effect. Or you can use normal, you get this, no, this glow, glow edges effect. Make a new layer, you click here. Choose the gradient tool. Choose your gradient. I have you already. And you can now do what you want. I go and make it like this maybe and go to mode overlay. And you get this awesome effect. It's great, huh?